Yeah, John, on Tuesday, a U.S. soldier broke away from a tour group and crossed into North Korea without authorization. The U.N. command, a U.S.-led group, says it is working with the North Korean military to resolve this incident. But separately, earlier today, North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles into the waters off its eastern coast. Now, we have learned more about the U.S. soldier. He is Army Private Travis King. He is a junior enlisted soldier. He was not in uniform when he voluntarily crossed into North Korea. A king spent 50 days in a detention facility in South Korea for assault involving at least one South Korean national. We also learned that he was facing disciplinary action by the U.S. military and was due to be separated from the U.S. Army. A U.S. official told CNN that King was being escorted to the airport to go back to the United States, but because the escorts couldn't go through customs at the airport with them, he was able to leave the airport. And then King later crossed into North Korea during a tour of the Joint Security Area, or JSA. And I want to show you footage of the JSA. Let's bring it up for you. Um, the JSA is located inside the demilitarized zone, or DMZ. This is the highly fortified border separating the two Koreas. The tour is organized by the U.N. command, and that tour is open to the public. Um, it's interesting to note that while there are checkpoints to get to the GSA, the actual border between North and South Korea there is only a small raised line on the ground. And I want to show you these images, you may remember this a couple of years ago, former U.S. President Donald Trump, when he met with the North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the JSA in June of 2019, um, unfortunately, the banner is, is, is covering that raised line, but the raised line is there, and he stepped across that very line. Um, during a JSA tour, participants are kept about 20 yards away from the line. There are no guards on the South Korean side of the border. And when CNN took this tour last year, no guards were seen on the North Korean side. Now, this unauthorized crossing, it comes at a time of high tension on the Korean Peninsula. Um, this year, North Korea has fired around a dozen missiles, including long-range ICBMs. And earlier today, North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles just hours after a U.S. ballistic missile submarine arrived in South Korea for the first time in decades. So as you can imagine, Tension is high. Pyongyang has a U.S. soldier in its custody. This is a very sensitive time, John, and his fate is uncertain. Back to you.